What's going on guys, Soren Ellings with here. So today we have the opportunity to go to Thousand Oaks Recruiting Station and talk to a future soldier that is actually a little more familiar to you than most of them might be. This young lady has a 22 year career in acting and most recently has devoted much of her time to volunteering with homeless veterans in Skid Row here in Los Angeles. So let's go inside and sit down with Carly Schroeder. and I'm 28 years old. I have been an actress for 22 years and I left that behind to join the army. How was your experience? I mean, you mentioned earlier that walking through the door, there was a different environment here. When I told my parents I wanted to join, my dad sat me down and said, I want you to really do your research and look at each branch and figure out which one is best for you. Don't just join the army because you want to be like Papa. Don't just join the Marines because you want to be like your brother. And so I did. I did my research. I went and talked to every single branch. And the army was the last appointment that I had. And I walked in and it was the first branch that I talked to that didn't try and sell me on this is the best branch, you know, you have to join, you know, look what we have. The first thing they asked me is, why are you good enough? Why should we let you become a part of our family? What qualities do you have that you're going to contribute to this team? And that's, that's what I wanted. I wanted to be part of a team. I wanted to be part of the family. And I wanted to be challenged to be good enough. Mentally and physically, how are you trying to get yourself ready to compete at that level? Now that I've sworn in, it's it's physical fitness, and I actually got the OCS reading list. So I'm kind of looking through some of the history stuff. I'm I'm you know memorizing things that I need to have memorized. I'm just trying to be the best I can be because I know I'm going to get smoked when I go to basic. <laughs> what was it about looking at the enlisted side or looking at the officer side that pushed you one way or the other? I went to college, paid for it myself. I put a lot of hard work into it. And I finally get to use my degree, so I'm pretty stoked on that. You don't you don't get to talk about it in Hollywood. It doesn't really matter. In fact, it took four years away from potential filming, but it was a choice that I made, and I'm very proud of it. Do you have people in your life currently that you consider mentors? I think my biggest mentors are my family. Um, not a lot of people can admit that their little brother is is uh, someone that has impacted them so much, but. I really look up to him, and I have to say that watching him graduate is uh, gives me all the feels. Knowing from your dad's experience, from your brother's experience, what's expected of officers, are there things about that that are intimidating or exciting, are there things that appeal to you about it? It's exciting to have the opportunity to be able to lead. Uh, I also think that's one of the most, uh, I wouldn't say something that's, you know, I'm nervous about, but I just want to do a good job. Is there advice that you would have for other people who are going down this road? I would say if you have the opportunity to be a part of the Future Soldier Program, do it. I'm only able to tell my story. I'm not a spokesperson for the Army or for females, but it's, it's nice to be able to show people that joining the Army isn't a last resort. It sure wasn't mine. <laughs>